Fritzy and I had a debate. I don't want to say it was a heated debate, but we had a debate about the philanthropic Aaron Rodgers giving back to the Jets here. Fritzy thinks that somehow, somewhere down the road, Rodgers will get that money back. I thought it's still a nice gesture to give the Jets $35 million back. Help us understand what Rodgers is doing, and is it honorable? Fritzy's instincts are right. I've got a theory on this. And <laughs> since I've been labeled one of the top five conspiracy theorists in the NFL, I have to work hard to continue to hold that status. Here's what I think is going to happen. And this all comes from, and I'll give you the chain of events. Ben Fisher of Sports Business Journal reported on Tuesday afternoon evening that the NFL last week passed a rule preventing owners from giving equity to players or other employees. In the aftermath of that report surfacing, I talked to some people and I learned that as Aaron Rodgers was reconfiguring his contract with the Jets, Dan, he was trying to get equity in the franchise. My theory is this $33.7 million gift to Woody Johnson, which is exactly what it is, because look, Dan, they could have found a way to move money around and load up the team this year and next year, and they could have dealt with the salary cap issues after Rodgers was long gone. This gift, I predict, <laughs> five, six, seven years down the road, will result in Aaron Rodgers being sold a small percentage of the New York Jets. Book it now. I predict it will happen later. Well, I won't be doing this. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, I'll be retired by then. So Fritzy and I, I guess we'll have an argument over the phone maybe. But he could have kept his deal though, Mike. Right? Oh, he could have. He could have. And look, Dan, i had been plugged into this for months. From the point that Rodgers unexpectedly took a $58 million option bonus that was due this year, moved it to next year to give the Packers, the team that he supposedly hates, at least the front office, some cap relief on his way out the door. And the Jets and Rodgers had to figure out how they're going to reallocate that money. I had heard that he was possibly going to take less money from the Jets than he was supposed to make this year and next year from the Packers. And I think the strategy here is, and we have to assume Aaron Rodgers is smart, so he's strategic. You ingratiate yourself to the team, to the locker room, to the front office, to the fan base, to the media. And the thinking is, you appear to be unselfish, you appear to be a guy who's helping the team, and you make it all back. One way or the other, sponsorship deals, appreciation of the percentage you buy down the road, whatever it is, you're going to make that $33.7 million back at some point down the road. And I think that's part of his calculation. He'll get that back and then some, and he rides into New York and he stays the hero. And everyone's going to go easy on him. And everyone's going to praise him. And no one's ever going to ask him a tough question <laughs> because he's such a great guy who took $33.7 less.